let's talk about this rate cut that we've had. The question is, is this trying to protect the Chinese stock market or is it tied in any way to what's going on with Greece? And is it enough to, to stymie the drop in Chinese stocks? Yeah, obviously it's not enough to, <laughs> to stop the market from plunging. Uh, today is uh, you know, another epic move in the market. We actually had a 10%, 10% intraday swing from high to low, even though we, we closed down uh, just under 4%. Uh, the interest rate, the timing of the interest rate cut and the targeted triple R cut is peculiar because you know we didn't need we didn't need a triple R cut or, or an interest rate cut right now, so the timing of the announcement really you know is uh, coincide with a, an epic another epic move late last Friday, you know trying to stem the market from falling, but you know to to no avail today. Um, and also, you know, even if you cut interest rate now, the problem is that you know the market has been anticipating a rate cut a long time ago. Uh, and a triple R cut really is to offset a fall in forex position. So, you know, for the real economy, it does no good. Uh, that is why, you know, the market sort of brush off, uh, you know, the, the interest rate cut and the triple R cut with a very strong opening up 2.5% uh, uh, at the open, but then, you know, plunge down almost, almost 8% uh, at the lowest point today. Uh, but how I'm okay, so I'm I'm following what you're saying. But should we not really be a lot more concerned because we're now talking, or at least China is thinking about stopping IPOs because of what the, the volatility we've seen. I mean, for me, that seems like a, a very drastic measures and spells mayhem to come. Yeah, it is concerning because you know we had a you know very um, volatile two weeks. Uh, and, and the index was down, you know, more than 20 percent in less than two weeks. So it is concerning, and I think the, the government, the regulator, is trying to stabilize the market. The problem is that, you know, we had too much leverage in the system. You know, we have well over two trillion yuan worth of margin lending outstanding in the market, and at one stage, margin trading uh, as a percentage of total volume traded is about 20 percent. Uh, you know, it's unseen ever before anywhere in the world. So, you know, in, in this market, we have very high leverage. In some parts of the market, we have very high valuation. Uh, and, and then, you know, uh, we had all these gigantic IPO piling up, and that is what really brought, uh, bring down the market. So going forward, I, I can see what they're you know, trying to do. They're trying to stop the IPO so that the IPO doesn't suck away liquidity from the market system. The problem is that, you know, there is a mechanism in the IPO process that people need to pay attention to. You, in order to be eligible for the IPO lottery, you need to have a certain amount of stock in your, uh, in your stock account. Uh, the more stocks, the more market value of your stocks in your account, the more chance you can get uh, to, to win the IPO lottery. So once we stop, once we stop Howard the IPO here, uh, I just want to try uh, and get some context you know, you can... from you in terms of the amount of margin in the system, because this is the debate, isn't it? Um, you've got the small retail accounts which have leverage, which have used margin to trade. You say that you are more concerned about the amount of non-brokerage uh, margin account trading that's out there. You're more concerned that there's much more leverage than we really understand in the system. Yeah, I think, you know, on the book, you know, we, we can only see two and a bit trillion yuan uh, marginal outstanding. But then off the book, uh, non-brokerage channel and also the umbrella trust channel has been financing much of the margin trading as well. And our estimate is that, you know, the, the non-brokerage channel is financing just as much as margin trading. Uh, as it is on the book that is regulated by the uh, CSRC. And that is why we're seeing such dramatic volatile move in the market because we just have too much leverage in the system. Uh, so the market gone vertical uh, in, in May and, and early June uh, to well over, well over 5,000 points and, and then <laughs> uh, uh, taking the same uh, acceleration down as well. And, and also in the recent days, the volatile move in the recent days suggests that some of the margin calls because of the plunge in the market has not been met uh, by, by traders. And that is why you know, there, there are some of the four sales of the margin trading account as well. That is causing volatility. Yeah. All right. Hao, thanks so much. Hao Hong there, the managing director and chief China strategist at Bocom International.